Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a video of software defined radio application and we're going to learn how to actually generate AM signal. Uh, it's not about generation in this video. It's about transmitting a signal, AM generated signal or a signal which is amplitude modulated. Transmitting this using HackRF. I have my HackRF is connected and receiving it on RTLSDR dongle and separately demodulating that signal and try to see what's going on in that signal. That's the basic idea regarding this tutorial. So basically in this video, we're gonna learn how to actually transmit a signal using HackRF. I made several videos on it, uh, but I just recently found uh, an application in GQRX, which I already knew about, but uh, for FM AM signals, uh, we'll, we're going to learn to demodulate this uh, using our RTL SDR dongle or any available art, uh, SDR that you have available. So that, the, the, the setup is quite simple. Uh, I won't be able to show you, but I have my hack RF is connected using Osmo Sync, as you can see this in this uh, box. So I have my hack RF. I'm going to use this as a transmitter and we're going to transmit that at frequency from 50 megahertz all the way up to 200 megahertz so that's the range slider which is being set here uh, so default frequency is 50 megahertz all the way up to four 200 uh, 200 megahertz uh, but i won't be able let's see if i'll be able to receive anything at 50 megahertz but i'm going to change this frequency to something else and these are just bunch of controllers that we generally use, uh, which is called GUI range slider in your GNU radio. This is the way you can, on runtime, you can control your amplitude, you can control your frequency, volume, and things like that. The block is quite simple. I'm going to use an arrow block. I have a cosine signal, and then I have a sine, another cosine signal. And both of them, one of them will act as a carrier signal, which is going to be this signal. This is going to be as a carrier signal. Uh, this is controlled by this rain slider right here. Uh, right here. Uh, it's going from all the way up to 1 kilohertz all the way up to 10 kilohertz. This is freak 2, which is being right here. And freak 1, which is going from 1 kilohertz all the way up to 10 kilohertz as well, which is this. So either one of these guys can be either a modulating signal or your frequency signal. Then I'm also using a constant source because if you look at AM definition, you also have a constant source as well. So all of these three signals are being added together in a real format, and then it's going into a flow to complex block, and I'm using a null source for an imaginary block. Why? Because Osmocom also only uses a blue. Uh, that's the only type of uh, input it uh, accept. And then we're going to transmit the signal uh using a frequency block which is this this is that frequency block where i'm going to transmit the signal and we're going to receive that using a rtlsdr dongle and for that purpose we're going to use gqrx so the idea is quite simple we're going to transmit a signal using hack rf and we're going to receive it using rtlsdr dongle which is also connected to my laptop and we're going to receive that using GQRX. So if you were to look at these signals closely, these are nothing but uh, a tone at different frequencies. And we're going to change these frequencies as well, and we're going to see the effect of it in demodulation as well. So both of these are just nothing but a tone signal, so I should be able to hear it, uh, uh, a tone. I should be able to hear this tone. Okay, so let's just quickly run this flow graph, and when I play this button, I'm going to make some changes wait for it all right so this is the output that you're seeing right now i'm going to change this transmitting frequency to 144 megahertz just in case because i'm worried that if my hack rf will be able to transmit it even though it has a newer firmware which goes from 10 megahertz but i'm not sure about my rtl sdr dongle is supposed to go from 50 megahertz sometimes goes from 70 megahertz just to make sure that i'm transmitting at a right frequency Nothing is showing. I'm going to raise this amplitude. So I'm going to treat this uh, amplitude 1 as a modulating signal, which is 0 0.5. And I'm going to change this to 1. Uh, so the amplitude is 1. And I'm going to also change, treat this frequency 1 as my modulating frequency. So I'm going to leave this as 1. And I'm going to change this to 5 kilohertz. So this should be acting as a... So... Now I'm going to select this RF gain to be anything and just leave that as is. So this should be transmitting it and this is what I should observe. So it is transmitting. Now how do I visualize this transmission? 
So for that reason, we're going to open up a terminal and we're going to run GQRX. GQRX. We're going to run GQRX. GQRX is going to pick up my Fiddy Power FC0012 RTLSDR dongle. And let's change this frequency to 144 megahertz. And if everything is right, I should be able to see the signal. Let's turn off the DMART uh, because I was working with it. Uh, so let me just minimize this and have this amplitude a little bit more. And let me just close this transmission so you should, shouldn't observe anything at 144 megahertz. So there is nothing that is being transmitted. Now I'm going to transmit. And I should see something around here. At, oh, I have to change the parameters again to 144. Let's just do 200. And let's change this to 0 0.5. Let's change this to... And let's change this to 5,000. And let's change this frequency to 200. Here we go. So I can clearly see that my transmission is happening. But how do I demodulate this? Since I know it's AM modulation, I will go into my GQRX. I will open up my AM modulation. And I should be able to hear my tone that is being transmitted. So let me put this mic close to my speaker so you can hear this. As you can clearly hear the tone, uh, so because it's demodulating. Now let me change the frequency here any of these frequency and I should be able to hear difference in the tone as well. And also let me change my modulating frequency as well so you can hear the difference in the tone as well. As you can clearly hear the difference in the tone as well, uh, that's what it's all about. So you can also demodulate using AM signal using this. Now, uh, using GQRX and the built-in modulator tool that is available. So that was this tutorial was all about. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.